Hi, I'm Nicole within the Attic. I'm going to take a few minutes today and show you how to do the basic knitting stitch on our flexible knitting looms. First of all, you take your yarn and you, I have the ends here, and you wrap it around the holding tack one complete circle. It doesn't need to be really tight or wrapped a lot of times, just enough that it will hold your yarn for a few minutes. Then you take your yarn between the first two pegs and you're going to wrap in a counterclockwise motion around each of the pegs. So if you can see here, my yarn that's going from peg to peg is on the inside of the loom. If your yarn is on the top here, then you're wrapping the wrong direction. So just make sure that you wrap each of the pegs counterclockwise. As I'm doing this, and I'm going to go all the way around the loom, As I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you a little bit about yarn choices. Um, right now I'm just using a basic worsted weight four ply yarn. Um, you can buy it at any department store or whatever, and I'm using two strands. This is a, a pretty popular way to do a basic, a basic knit hat. Now when I first start, when I first thread the loom, I'm going to go around the loom twice. Um, because I want to have two rows of yarn on each of the pegs. So I've gone around once, now I'm going to go around again. This is the only time that you're going to go around the loom twice. Because from here on out you will always have one row to start out with. If you can see I use my left hand, my left thumb to kind of hold on to that yarn because then it won't unravel. And for this demonstration, I'm just holding the loom in the air, but you can rest it on your legs or on the table or anything like that. So now, as you can see, I have two rows of wrapped of wraps around each of the pegs. So I'm gonna oops. So I'm gonna take that yarn now, and I'm just gonna kind of catch it on that holding tack so that it will stay while I do my knitting. And I want to point out too that our holding tack is um, actually placed inside of the loom. So if I have a thicker yarn, I can slide that tack out or push it in closer if I have a smaller um, weight of yarn, which is great because it really holds the yarn. It doesn't slip off. So now once I have them all done, I'm going to take my knitting tool and I'm going to grab that bottom wrap and I'm going to hook it up over the top of the peg. And then I go to the next one. It's that simple. And you just go all the way around the loom. I grab the complete wrap. There's two strands here on my demonstration on this hat today of yarn. If you have a bulky yarn, you might use one strand. If you have a really lightweight baby yarn, you might have four or five strands and you just nip those right up over the top to the back side of the peg. This groove right here in the peg is really convenient um, because your hook will just go right underneath that yarn and just pull it right up over the top. It's easy to get a hold of that. Now as you can see I've gone all the way around the loom so before I do my wrapping again I'm going to make sure that that row is um, all the way at the bottom of the pegs. That way, it's ready for me to take my yarn back off my holding tack and start the wrapping process again. It's that easy. It's basically a two-step process. It's just wrapping and then knitting off with your pick tool. Okay, now as you can see, I've done a couple of rows of wrapping and then knitting off. Once I get a couple of rows completed, you know, maybe three or four rows, this yarn, which is the very beginning of the yarn that I used, that I wrapped around the tack, um, can be taken off, um, which makes it nice because then the yarn that you're using doesn't get in the way um, of that. I guess, well, this doesn't get in the way of your yarn. So that can just hang down now and there isn't a problem. Then after you do your wrapping, you can just use that 
to wrap around and it's not so bulky. As you can see now, I've completed a bunch of rows on my hat and I'm ready to complete a brim. There's a couple different ways that you can finish your hats. This hat right here has a brim on the bottom, which is like a double thickness of, of the knitting um, stitch. This one doesn't. This is um, just knitted out. It doesn't have a brim and it just naturally kind of rolls on the bottom. So you can see that's kind of a cute different way to do it too. So if you choose to do the, the brim on the bottom, this is how you do it. You take your hand and you place it through the center of your loom and you grab those strings that you started out with and you pull all of your knit knitting up through the top. Take your strings or strands of yarn and wrap them around um, the tack just so that it will hold it for a second. At the very bottom of your stitching there's a couple different strands um, of really loose yarns. It's like the first little row. And you just grab each one of those and loop them up over the top of the pegs. You can see that the knitting has kind of these little arrows and lines that, you, that kind of point up through the center of each peg and that's how you can tell you're doing it correctly. So you just kind of open it up and just place those over the top of each of the pegs so that each peg has one. After we do this we're going to be ready to knit off and so that, that shows you that this um, process that we're doing now takes place um, takes the place of the wrapping um, that, we've, that we were doing before and it gives you two rows of yarn on each of your pegs so you're ready to knit off again and, and continue knitting your hat. Be sure that each of your pegs has one of those um, loops on it so that each of your pegs now has two rows. So now I'm just going to take my pick tool again and I'm going to take the bottom wrap and hook it up over the top and that's going to lock this little folded brim into place. Then once I'm done with that I can take my yarn again, start wrapping and knitting off again and my hat will continue um, with its length of coming out the bottom until we're ready to do the final step. Okay, now as you can see, I've done more wrapping and, and knitting off, and so now I have a completed hat. I'm ready to take my hat off of the loom. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my scissors and I'm going to cut my yarn off of my skein. Then I'm going to take um, a big long length of yarn that's probably about oh three feet for three feet long to be safe. And I'm going to fold this yarn in half so that I have it looped here and then the big long strings on the on the bottom. I'm going to take my loom and hold it like this so that the pegs are pointing up and I can see my holding tack. I'm going to take that loop on my long length of yarn and hook it about five pegs, four or five pegs to the right of the holding tack. For this step I want all of the wraps on my peg to be up. Um, so that I can lay that long length of yarn underneath. And I'm going to take my pick, I'm going to go underneath the wrap that's on the peg, I'm going to grab a hold of that long length of yarn, and I'm going to pull it up through. I'm going to show you on the next one because that one wasn't very clean. Grab that yarn, pull it up through, just like that. The groove on the pegs makes it really convenient because you can just kind of twist your pick tool and get that yarn to come right up out the top. Now if you can visualize what I'm doing, each of these wraps on the loom um, would, if they're taken off the pegs, they would just come unraveled because we haven't tied any knots, we've just done weaving. So fishing this long length of yarn through each of these is going to make them so that they're all hooked together and nothing will come undone on our hat. Okay, now you can see I've come all the way around the loom. I'm almost back to my holding tack. This is my long length of yarn. I'm fishing through each one of the loops and I'm back to where I hooked my yarn over the top of the peg to hold it originally. I can take that off now and just let it hang down because it, it'll hold enough now because everything's been looped through. Then I'm going to slide these wraps up to the top of the pegs and finish fishing this big long length of yarn through these last four or five picks. 
you want to be sure you get this long length of yarn through each one of the um, loops on the pegs because if you miss one, like I said before, um, your whole project will just come unraveled. This last one's a little tricky because it's kind of loose because of how those yarns are. Okay, once you've completed that, you should have three sets of yarn. This one here on the left and this one here on the right is the big long length of yarn that we just fished through um, each, of the, each of the loops. And this one here in the center is the one that we cut. So once you get to this, this point, you want to keep track of all of these, um, these three sections. We can take everything off of the loom now. You just I use my fingers because I think it's the easiest way. You can use your pick tool if you'd like. And I'm just going to pull those up over the top of each of those pegs. They're all going to stay together now because that big length of yarn has been fished through each one of those and they're all hooked together. Nothing will come unraveled. I'm going to turn my hat inside out. and find those three sets of yarn again that I showed you before. Here they are. These two here are the big long length and then this is the one that I cut. I'm going to grab those two strands that is the big long length of yarn and I'm going to just cinch this hat up just like that to close that hole in tight and I'm going to tie just a basic square knot. I can pull it as tight as I possibly can because we don't want any kind of a hole in the top of our hat. Then what I always do is after completing that square knot is I take those two strands in one hand then I grab this third set of strings that we cut before we started to finish the hat and I tie a second square knot just to make sure that everything is tight and there won't be any holes. Now there's a couple options that you can do with these little, um, this yarn here at the end. You can just cut them off maybe an inch or two long. They'll just be on the inside of your hat so that you won't be able to see them or you can fish them back through to clean them up. And the same thing with this piece here. Just for this demonstration I'm just going to leave them. Um, turn your hat back the right way and you can see we have a nice completed hat. This is actually a hat that will fit a newborn child. Um, it's a really simple process and it's really fun. If you have any questions, you can contact us. Um, vis visit us at our website, knittinglooms.com. We have our email information there or our phone number. You can give us a call. We'd love to answer any questions you may have.